Hey guys, go to boy 32 here. Check it out. Just wanted to do a real quick review on this thing right here. One of the deals I'm trying to put together and, and in conjunction with my son going camping with the Cub Scouts, but it gives me a good opportunity to put some survival stuff together. So I wanted to pick up something that was easy to, and compactable uh, or compactable. I guess that's a word here. Yeah. I'm, I'm inventing all kinds of neat words when we do this. But thing. this is a little cook set by Esbit. You can get this on Amazon. Again, my favorite store. And essentially, all I want is something that I can use to heat water to either make coffee, warm soup up, or some kind of vittles, in other words. So, take a look at this thing. It comes with, just like this, got a cool little deal, little pour cup. You can put uh, 16 ounces, 12 ounces, 8 ounces, 400 milliliter, whatever you got, wherever you're from. And it comes with a little cook stand like this. Now, what we're going to do later on is I am going to cook up, warm up some coffee, use this to cook my coffee with. Now, you can buy these solid fuel cells right here. You can go ahead and get these on Amazon. Roughly, this is about, I think I paid like 12, 13 bucks for this thing, somewhere along in there. I'll put the link down below. But I did a lot of research on little portable cookers. Now, another option as well is you can pick these up at Walmart. And this is going to be in one of the, uh, the giveaway deals that I have. This is, let me get this thing. The folding stove with fuel. Now, my son cooked up oatmeal with one of these things, and it brought everything to a boil within a couple minutes. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show it to you. Is in comparison to this. Now, this is four or five. You can get this for about six bucks, I believe, Walmart. And it's good for several uses, but it's compact. Throw this in a, in a getaway bag, and you've got the means to warm water up, boil water, protect yourself, safety. And it does come with these solid rocket fuel booster things but uh, in any case i was pretty impressed with how quickly it was able to boil water um, the constructability is not quite what i'd want to see but you know what you've got the ability to cook food so this is actually going to go in the container that i'm sending out for the 2000 uh giveaway amongst other things and we'll do a review on that here pretty soon all right so talking about this guy right here you can take these little rocket fuel cells here And these come individually wrapped like that. Now, from what I understand, bring that in so you can see it. Let's see if I can kill the light above that thing. All right, well, anyway, they're there. So what we're going to do here in a few minutes, I'm going to take this thing out. Guys, I will go ahead and put this thing up once it gets light outside and uh, do some coffee on it. So it'll be interesting to see. I also want to do a time thing on there to uh, show how fast it will boil 16 ounces of water. Now, if you look at the cooker here, you take your little tablet, you set it in the tray right there, and it's shielded. So you get enough draw from here, and you can light it from here. Nice on the legs. I haven't tried to take these off. I'm not even going to try it. Nice little anodized finish on there. Lid. It's just a neat little cook set. So you can take that thing, set it over to the side, and there you go, guys. If you got to set up a shelter, you're not going to produce so much heat that you're going to be in danger of burning yourself down. But uh, of all the little cook sets that I found out there, this was probably one of the most unique. Now, it's not titanium, and it's not super light, but it is compactable. And it comes with this really neat little carry bag right here. Throw this in your backpack. Fill it up with a couple of these things right here. And these... Actually, made in Germany, too, by the way. So in one box, you get... 12 of these cook cells here and uh, it says right here one of those can take one pint and boil in eight minutes so we'll, we'll test that theory out all right so here's the situation uh you know we we uh, we escaped from the bad guys or something like that we had to, we had to jump in into the middle of the territory with a bad situation really hi there so I got my compadre here, and uh, he's going to help me. So what we're going to do, we're going to hide there. Can you do me a favor and get out? <laughs> so anyhow, we've got this thing here. We're going to wake up in the morning after a long, hard day escaping and evasing and, uh, with our puppies. Because you know, no leave no dog behind. And we're gonna take this thing, 
and we're going to make some coffee because it just so happens that I stopped at the local Starbucks here in the, in the jungle and, and bought these packs. All right, this is the Italian roast version of these things, the instant coffee. So let's do this. We're going to go ahead and pop this thing out. I'm going to bring it in mm -hmm. so you can see it. Oh, I forgot. Can you please give me a break? Thank you. All right, so anyway, what I've got is the uh, the puppies are on perimeter. They're uh, they're on watch. So meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and put some coffee together, and uh, so we can have a nice relaxing uh, coffee in the morning. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this. All right, these are the little fuel cell things, and these are designed specifically to fit in this little booger right here. All right, so other than it smelling really really bad, that's about it. So we're going to drop that in there just like that. Now. We went down to the stream and we got some water. We're going to go ahead and max this thing out at 16 ounces of water. The nice thing is, is let me show you with the camera, they have measurements in here so you can see how much water you have. So we got 16 ounces of water. And we're going to put that on there like that. So I'm going to take my lot lighter, Special Forces Operator's Lighter. See how easy that lights with just using a lighter. The nice thing is they've got the shroud around here. All right, it's lit now. Yeah, you can see it. I like the concealability of this thing and the shroud around it versus the other little oven we were talking about earlier. So in an effort to help this thing move ahead, we'll go ahead and put the cover on it. And there you go, man. So I say in about five minutes, we take two of these packets here just like that and put in there but anyway the biggest thing is guys when you're out and about and uh, you, you're in a situation and shit hits the fan bug out bag or whatever it is a good hot meal is, is a morale builder uh, it'll keep you safe and it'll save your life in the long run so this is just basically what we're doing right here in all seriousness I just want to see there's a lot of heat coming off of this which is really really good you can see the flame in there it's pretty nice let me go ahead and uh, detach the camera so we can get a close-up to see the flame underneath there. Alright, so now you can see what's going on. And this provides a lot of wind protection right there. And I guess you're getting eight minutes of burn out of each one of these fuel cells. So you've got how many of these? 12, 14, 12. So that gives you 12 chances to make a pretty decent meal. Unless you're trying to actually sear something, and I guess you probably would could. Um, believe it or not, rabbit, squirrel, uh, just about any kind of bird shit, it, you know, snakes, fish. You take a little bit of the meat, put a little bit of water in there, and you got yourself a nice stew. But at the end of the day, you're doing very well. So let's see if the water temperature is going up. Yep, water temperature is going up quite nicely. Also, see, you got this little handles right here. Probably need to go ahead and bring those out. <laughs> They don't retain that temperature. And we'll go ahead and see. That also, the cool thing is, is you can lift this thing off. It's got that contoured area that holds it. There's your measurements right there. Both metric and uh, American or whatever ounces. But of all the little cook sets that I did my research on, this one was one of the ones that I wanted to give it a shot. So, you know, let's just see. Um, frogs. Frogs make a good meal too. So anytime you can have, you find some dead frogs or you kill some frogs laying around, cut the little snappy little legs off, throw in there. Just about anything. And also another thing to, to keep in mind, salt and pepper. A little bit of these things right there also make a huge difference in, in, in helping you out and creating a good situation. Now one of the things that right now we're at about a 65 ambient zero wind so we have to keep that in mind as well Let's see inside this is what it's looking like down there, there now we got some steam coming up this is nice we we'll probably could make coffee yeah you can make coffee with that right now so in five minutes we have enough warm water to make coffee on our own ramen noodles something light dehydrated you can put in here Yeah, 
some bubbles down in the bottom we're getting there so when it gets bubbling hot we'll know that well we got bubbles coming up just heating the water look it's boiling cool are we going to dump it out in here? I'm going to make coffee with it. Oh. You going to get me a coffee cup? Yeah. No? Wow, it looks like a marshmallow. I know, huh? Can I eat it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright guys, we're getting there. I mean, we've got some bubbles coming up, and as far as I'm concerned, I mean, it's not a bubble, 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 but it's uh, close enough. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take my big coffee cup right here. I'm going to pour these two packs in here, and we're going to test it out. So, here it is. We got that. We're going to pour this in here. That heat cell is pretty much done. 16 ounces. Okay. All okay. right. And that's it. Got some coffee. I think the water is probably hot enough to be considered sterilized. But, uh, you know, that's it. So, anyway, guys, what we're going to do, that's the Esbit little cooker deal there. Got the cook cells here. All right, so my son's gonna. We're gonna be uh, doing a review here very shortly of uh, one of the other little camping stoves. Um, guys, that's it. Go to boy thirty two. God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform twenty four seven for our freedom. Freedom is not free. It's go to boy thirty two. Out.